Okay, so last day at Zen Hostel, kind of reliving my uh, reliving my last summer, and now I'm on to some new things. So I'm really uh, I'm really excited. We're gonna take a bus to the train and the train to Suchava, and then from there I don't know. I love train travel. I really recommend if you can travel by train at all, if you can even hear me, <laughs> if you can travel by train when you're traveling, like it's really so luxurious. It's, uh, I mean, there's really, I think there's nothing like it. Uh, you can get up, you can walk around. I don't mind bus travel, but uh, the ability to get up and walk around during the trip is just really invaluable. part of traveling that kind of sucks um, I made a heroic effort to find a cheap place everything is super expensive in this city I mean like I don't <laughs> I uh, I kind of can't believe it it's so expensive but um, it's like London prices a hostel bed was $23 a night lose hostel or whatever you're out of your fucking mind you're out of your mind but uh, then I finally chose a place that was way out of my price range uh, reluctantly an hour away walking and uh, as I uh, was on my way there they messaged me and said they've got nothing so uh, <laughs> so I went back to the drawing board I booked another room, and uh, as soon as I selected this next room, they uh, they said, sorry, this room's no longer available. So twice, I found a room <laughs> that was already too expensive for me, and they said it's, it's too available, or that's no longer available. Now, I'm on my way to a room with, uh, with really bad reviews, uh, but... It's cheap and it's sort of on the way to the village. So it's uh, it's something that can work, I guess. Uh, uh, so there's also another little pensiona on the way that I saw on Google. So I'm gonna stop there and see if, uh, if they have an available room as well and what the price is. Cause uh, when your budget is $30 a day, a room that, rude when your budget is $30 a day a room that's $23 a night uh, that doesn't really do it uh, so anyway I'm on my way there and we'll see how it goes oh hey look a little friend so I'm at this hostel I walked an hour to get here and there's no one in the reception it actually is a really good price. It's a better price than anything that I've seen. And uh, I think there's a sign here that says call for reception, but the numbers are completely illegible. I have no idea. It looks like 07HH. -H. I have no fucking clue what those numbers are. And I might have to leave here and go try to find another place. This is an unglamorous part of traveling and something that I actually kind of weirdly and perversely kind of enjoy the little like uh, the little difficulties. Uh, it's not really a big deal. So I deciphered the number. Those were fours, upside down fours. And uh, as she said in Romanian that she had a room available and asked me a clarifying question. And then I said, uh, sorry, one more time. 
in English, and then she changed it to no, I don't have a room available. So, <sighs> the search goes on. Okay, so last night uh, I went down to this 31 biker bar and I met a, a taxi driver down there, super cool guy, and uh, he managed to hook me up with someone who could rent me a car because I was kind of running into all sorts of difficulties. And so I was going to leave today a little bit defeated because I felt like, damn it, I wanted to see this place, but I was having trouble renting a car and I was having trouble uh, getting around without a car. But he had a friend who had some extra cars. He rented me one for two days, and we're gonna go check out that. out that there are several towns around here that they also used to be uh, part of Ilishest. And I've seen some of those on the family records as places that uh, people were baptized or whatever, even though they all the birth records say they were born and or died in Ilishest. Oh wow. But I'm interested to go and see some of those towns and see uh, and see what they were like as well because obviously um, these, a lot of these towns are actually farther off the main road, and I think that they will be similar to Breb and Maramuresh, where they will be a little bit more untouched, and I think that, um, that life might be a little bit more similar to the way it was 50 years ago. I find that stuff really interesting, and I'm fascinated by history, so I'm going to go and see what life is like in the villages today. set up in my little car camping situation here and when I mean car camping I mean actually sleeping in the car. I was just driving around today and I drove down toward like kind of the southern part of Ilishest and I uh, you know I've been practicing this phrase uh, familia mea uh, immigraten din Ilishest and it's my my family immigrated from Ilishest and this couple <laughs> with this sweet little house, which I really just pulled over so I could look at it, uh, said, oh, oh, sprechen Sie Deutsch. And I was like, no shit. Uh, and I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, sprechen Sie a little bit. And uh, they are the only German family that lives in Ilishish. And uh, they, they actually were born here and then moved away and came back, but they, bought, they brought out the Ilishish German book for me and uh, showed me all the entries in my family and then their friend showed up who speaks who speaks English who helped uh, translate a little bit and I spent a couple hours at their home they showed me around their home super cool what a what luck and what a cool experience to be able to uh, to be able to share that with them so uh, so I had a really good afternoon anyway since I'm not really camping all that legally I'm going to turn off these lights and hit the sack so I can get an early start in the morning. Good night. Dobranoz. Noctabuna. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have just been lying in bed watching beautiful sunrise over Suchaba. And it's about 7 a.m. and people are showing up with baskets. So I think they're going foraging for mushrooms, which makes me want to go forage for mushrooms. But I honestly don't have a way to, uh, to cook or store any of them. But... I don't know, traffic is kind of picking up on the road, so we're going to go look at some painted churches now. So I've actually got a pretty ambitious day planned. Uh, I'm going to go, so I'm driving part of the way. I know normally that'd be cheating. But, uh, and then there's a three hour hike 
that I can take. Otherwise, you can hike from the base, but I just don't have time for it today, and I still want to get to uh, get to the peak, so I'm going to drive part way, park. Plus, I get to drive this cool mountain road, which I always love, and uh, then I'm going to hit just one of the painted painted monasteries, and then I'm going to head back because uh, I got my bus to Moldova tomorrow morning. So this is where I'm trying to get to. But uh, they keep having all these beautiful viewpoints and I keep stopping to look at them. So uh, it's taking me a little while. All right, I made it up here. Um, parking area is festival. There's lots of people here, or festive, lots of people here. Uh, especially, I guess it's uh, Sunday, so a lot of people are off. Um, and there's live music, it sounds like. Uh, this is just at the base of the trailhead though and uh, whatnot. But I'm going to uh, change shoes, chuck on those old hiking boots and uh, in the rocks and uh, it looks totally epic. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to go back down quick and see how long it takes to get up there. This is a problem in this part of the world. I don't know quite what to do about it or how to tell them to manage their lands and that kind of thing, but it's everywhere. I'm not really into it. Uh, they could definitely uh, deal with bathroom situations on the trails uh, quite a bit better for sure. Um, but I think one of the main issues I think is they have a really intense number of visitors all the time. So yeah, they have bathrooms downstairs and you should realistically be able to hold it for 45 minutes or whatever. But uh, but like Poland, they have, I mean, an immense amount of travelers coming through and a lot of people on the trails. The trails are so busy sometimes. They're so beautiful and it's worth it, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and the higher you get, of course, then the less people there are. So that, uh, that always pays off. But um, the bathroom situation, they just don't really have... Uh, any infrastructure or any education on how to uh, on how to manage that so sometimes behind a bush there will just be a pile of two dozen shits and toilet paper and it's like I don't know uh, and I've seen that all over this part of the world uh, people don't pack out their toilet paper they don't even bother to bury it it's just all over the place and there's not a lot of other litter it's just that uh, so I don't know if you're in the you know ministry of nature or something in Romania or Poland or in Slovakia or Hungary uh, think of a better solution put up some signs uh, teach people to bury their stuff or put in long drop toilets if if people aren't going to uh, wait and aren't gonna pack out their paper you know put receptacles so that they can Put them put it somewhere you know um even if uh even if the human waste is on the ground at least then uh you know the paper can be in bags and uh and carried out i don't know what do i know i'm not an expert i'm just uh, just a guy who likes to go outside i made it to the monastery in Voronet. I heard if you're only going to do one, this is the one, so we're going to go uh, have a look and see what we see. I've heard, like some other things, that they'll actually try to prevent you from photographing it from the outside. I'm definitely not trying not to come in. I just, uh, 
but I certainly would like a photo from the distance. Uh, it's a little bit annoying to... Um... Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to come in with uh, short sleeves on. I'll have to ask. But, uh... <laughs> by paying respect to them by respecting myself. So I guess if uh, I guess if I wear short sleeves, I'm not respecting myself. I don't really know. I don't know I just don't have interest in certain things or whatever and I I just I'm like ah, I'm not gonna do that I literally was I was getting ready to leave and I was like you know I guess I should go inside the church for a minute I paid to get in here I might as well go and uh, I might as well go and have a look what a dummy I am it was stunning inside absolutely stunning like I I could lay in there and just look at the floor and the incense and just the whole kind of aesthetic experience of it. Oh my God, it was amazing. So if you go to this monastery, if you come to this monastery and you're like, oh yeah, the outside's the painted part, it's cool. It doesn't even touch the inside. It's absolutely amazing. Store for 